Hi everyone, welcome. It's Lonnie again, back with some, well, I'm going to call this part two of the embossing that I did the other day because I got to playing around and I learned a few things while I was playing, so I thought I would pop back on and share some of those things. So, first of all, I made a bunch of these um, little embellishments, stamps I call them, I ran out of, they're not all perfectly stamp shaped, but they'll do. And then I found some teddy bears and I did those, I just made larger stamps. But mostly I made these uh, sunflower stamps, which I like. I could go back in and color them if I wanted, but I might save them and do that later when I go to use them. So there's those. And another handmade with love. And so that was that. So then I did this whole page with different colors. And you find out which ones are your favorite after a bit. So I tried silver, and that's over here. And so this is gold. This is the opaque white. This is the black sparkle. Or no, that was the clear sparkle, sorry. The black sparkle has red in it and other colors as well. So this is the clear sparkle. Then there's more gold. So liking that. Then I moved on to do the side of a page. So I did this um, sunflower, added a leaf, and this is the clear, and this is just coffee dyed paper. So that was fun, I didn't mind that. This will go in a journal, it's gonna be really nice, I think. What else? Then I did a little bit more. I took this um, thicker paper and it's coffee dyed and I did a whole bunch of butterflies and flowers on the edge, like a page edge. So that will go in a journal. And I also did this page. Now this is the clear, and I got a little bit of black in there, so on the paper it looked like um, salt and pepper, but it was the clear, and then I got some black in there by accident. I stamped some numbers, which I actually forgot to emboss. I was going to do those in black, I think, but the... Um, yeah, I think it's dry now. I don't think it'll work, but that's okay. So yeah, so this is the clear and the gold, of course. And then I did another page. Now I had sewn this craft paper, packing, ta uh, packing paper onto a digital and I sewed it together. And so I just did a flower arrangement with some butterflies. And I thought that turned out really nice. So what I want to do now is one more. And I'm thinking, I don't know, this uh, sunflower was kind of fun. So I've got it on a longer piece here. This one's breaking on me, so pardon the look of it. I tried to, like it's blistering, so I thought it needed to come up and then it didn't, so. Anyway, so I'm gonna go with this on the sunflower. And I'm gonna add the leaf later, I think. So I like to do it, well, we can do it on this side this time. Put 
Pardon the mess I've been playing with this. Okay, and then I had my smaller block. I think I'm going to add a couple butterflies since I have them and we're here. I'll put those up top. So these would look good in clear. They would also look really nice in gold, I think. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add a leaf. Oops, I gotta do that the right way. Actually didn't wanna do it on that side, I wanted to keep it over here to the edge something like that and I don't know maybe we'll add a smaller flower yet There, I can't look like it coming out the side there from the back. All right, so then what we'll color? I think I'm gonna go with the no, well, the opaque white would look really good too. So I've got the clear sparkle. So the clear sparkle was the one that showed up, but not overly. And on black, it didn't, I don't know, it didn't really impress me. It was that one, couldn't really tell. Maybe I'll go with silver this time. Let's try that. Over that so it stays relatively clean. So yeah, um, if you watched the last video I did, I was wondering how come sometimes I got this really like dirty look, and sometimes I got this well. I guess it's two different issues. The dirty look was probably because I got some embossing ink like smudged around my design. So I think that was that. Then I had the other issue of where I had a nicer print that was a little bit more faint and subtle as opposed to this other print that was more solid and bold and I like the uh, daintier one better <clears throat> excuse me and I think I found the solution to that so let me show you what I'm talking about here Okay, so, pardon the paper. Now, if I do it this way, the way I have um, just shaken it off, I'm going to get a more solid look, which is not my favorite. So, what I did in the end with the other ones, I flicked it. to make more of the um, powder come off.
and I think I like that look better. I think that's what gave me that um, daintier look. It was funny because Carrie in his video said, don't do that because you'll get rid of too much of the powder. And it just depends on what look you're liking because it seems to me I'm liking it better when there's not as much powder. So it's up to you how much powder, how much, you know, how full do you want your design to look? So, yeah learning all right I'm gonna get my heat tool Yeah, so that's how that looks now. I I like it better this way with um, less powder on it. So, like I said, you got to experiment and try and see what you like. And I think now it will make a beautiful addition to a journal. So, yeah, I am really liking that. Anyways, I wanted to update you and let you know that I had found some success and uh, hope you give it a try if you have some of these toys i mean what's the point of having them if we don't use them so i put my i put off using mine because i thought it was gonna be too hard to learn or i don't know it just seemed like too much work maybe but definitely worth the time and the effort so keep playing around and find something that works for you all right, have a great day and God bless you and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.